Hi, I'm Robert Trock. This is Brooklyn, New York, and I spend every day being younger than I was last year. Well, I got the bins loaded up, my first load of bins, taking them out of the garage, getting one step closer to getting this place ready for my home gym. I'm gonna have to walk them around the block, so I'm gonna get some walking in today. Hopefully, you've been doing your warm-up exercises. Hopefully, you've been maybe even getting out and doing some walking. Maybe you found some stairs. You started taking some stairs. That would be great if you did. But maybe you're thinking, Robert, I do these little sections of walking during the day and movement. That's great and everything. But I'm thinking of doing a section of exercise where I devote some time just to some exercise. Great thought. So here's what you're going to do. Let's just focus on a basic walking. And this is not just your ordinary old walk. I call this anti-aging walking. So you see a lot of people out walking, you know, pushing themselves, sweating. That's a different kind of walk. There's a place for that. That's not what we're gonna learn today. And we're gonna start with breathing. Now, why breathing? Because most of us walk around all day with panic breathing. Studies have shown us how this just increases cortisol levels, hormones, stress, and that stuff ages you much faster than you need to. So first, remember the breathing exercise I showed you with the belly breathing. That's what we're gonna do while we walk. So basically, remember just to review, inhale through your nose, exhaling through your mouth. Like so, here it is from the side. And exhale. Start the breath in your belly. Try to avoid starting it up in your chest. Start it low down in your belly. So while you're walking, it'll look something like this. In through your nose, out through your mouth. You might not be able to notice, but I'm breathing here. Just like that. We want to get the breathing into a flow. And what you can do is, to keep the flow regular, here's the key. You can use your steps to keep your inhales and exhales the same amount of time. So let's say you work on two steps for an inhale, two steps for an exhale. So that just looks like this. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. I mean, don't worry if the steps aren't exactly right, but it gives you something to think about. It gives your mind something to, to occupy as you're out walking. Very meditative, actually, once you get the hang of it. So that's the breathing part. Now the posture part. To help you breathe better, a tall posture is key. Whether you're sitting in a chair, whether you're driving your car, whatever you're doing, out walking, tall posture. Here's my tall posture. First, I'm gonna show you the typical posture a lot of people have today, that rounded back. Well, we're gonna get rid of that. Nice and tall, but notice I'm not standing tall like a military stance, just to relax tall. As if a cable is coming from the sky, holding me up by the top of my head, nice and loose. So as I walk, it would look something like this. I'm breathing, and just holding a relaxed, tall posture. Notice my head position. How can you work on your head position? Just keep your eyes focused on the horizon. Don't be looking at the ground. Just look straight ahead at the horizon. Now, next is your arms. The arms move naturally as you walk. So, if your arms are, are still, which I see some people actually walk that way, just loosen them up and let them go. Like so. Watch, my arms will move nice and easy. Just like so. Notice I'm not trying to throw them. I'm just letting them move naturally. Next, knees. Nice soft knees. I see a lot of people walking around with straight legs, jamming and locking their knees. Let's just keep your knees soft. Notice I keep a slight bend in my knees. So when you're walking, it'll just look something like this. Yes, it, has, it makes you have to uh, walk with shorter steps, but don't worry about that, that's fine. That's not the purpose of this, is try to get as long as we can. Remember, this is an 
anti-aging walk. And last is your feet. Remember how I said heels jam into the ground? What we're gonna do is take that out of the equation and walk with flatter feet. I call it the soft stomp. So it's like you're stomping your foot in the ground as softly as possible, right? So it'll look something like this while you're walking. Okay. Just like that. So that's the feet position. So putting it all together, posture, breathing, arms, knees, feet. Normal speed. There we go. This is calm, relaxed, but still at a faster speed. There's a lot to take in. You just practice one of these things at a time. I would start with the breathing first and then move to arms, posture, that kind of stuff. So, I gotta get these bins and get started in the garage. But as always, please don't hesitate to message me about any questions, comments you have, you got any obstacles, don't hesitate to ask me. It's my job to help you be younger than you were last year. And speaking of that, Remember, we got a New Year's resolution going, you and I for 2016. So let's take one step at a time, one step further to being younger than we were last year.